from weird exotic pets to the most absurd house you'll ever see. These are weird things NBA players actually buy. And Marquise Daniels, he requested a $100,000 custom-made chain of his face. Yeah, I know that sounds pretty weird, but the jeweler he had was hyping this thing up, talking about 3D laser imaging, three pounds of 14 karat gold, black, white, and cognac diamonds. Marquise thought he was buying a masterpiece, but what he got instead made me want to scoop my damn eyeballs out with a spoon. Ugh! Looks like a damn voodoo doll or, or some, some witchcraft shrunken head thing. What? what? $100,000 for that? But uh, I mean, hey, the man got what he asked for, I, I guess. Now, Lou Williams on the other hand, he bought something weird because his life depended on it. Back in 2011, Lou was on his way home after a haircut in Philly, and just a few minutes away from his house, when he stopped at a red light, Lou almost lost his life. Some random dude on the street walked up to Lou's window, pulled a gun on him, and screamed, get the f out of your car. But instead of acting like a normal person and, you know, getting out of the car, Lou rolled his window down and tried negotiating with the guy. And surprisingly, this was actually a good decision, because when the guy got a clear look at Lou's face, he immediately put the gun away. Not only did this guy recognize Lou, but he happened to be his biggest fan. So, that's when the two started talking, and this happened. The dude said, man, I can't even do it to you. I just got out of jail. All I got is this gun and a bus token to get home, bro. I ain't got nothing to eat. And I just was thinking fast. I looked, I said, look, bro, it's a McDonald's right there. You meet me at the McDonald's, I'll buy you whatever you want to eat. That motherfucker ordered food, I swiped my car, yeah. I shook his hand, I said, God bless, bro, but this ain't the way. Yeah. And by that time, my man was walking in McDonald's like I got it. Yeah. yeah, Lou Williams actually went out and bought McDonald's for a guy who pointed a gun at him. That's all it takes? Damn, I'm finna get me some free McDonald's. Ridiculous. But Lou Will isn't the only one that almost died. Cause Ben Simmons, his weird purchase almost killed someone. Back in 2016, Ben was drafted by the 76ers and moved into a small apartment in Philly. Now, this apartment building didn't allow big animals, so Ben had to give away his giant dog and get a new pet. You'd think that he'd just get, I don't know, a smaller dog, maybe a hamster, a goldfish? No. Instead, he went out and dropped $10,000 on not one, but two Savannah cats. Ah, the hell is that thing? Jesus, it's like a damn cat on steroids. Yeah, it didn't take long for Ben to realize that it was pretty dumb to buy these cats. Cause every time he went to pet them, they tried clawing his eyes out. And whenever he fed them, his hands got all chewed up. I mean, these cats were so evil they almost killed someone. Yeah, back in 2017, when Ben was on a road trip to California, he asked his brother to fly the cats out to visit him. So he did what any good family member would do. But when his brother got to the airport, all hell broke loose. See, his brother needed to take the cats out of their carrier so airport officials could scan the cages. And right when he let them out, the cats lunged at the brother's neck and started mauling him. I mean, things got so ugly that three airport security workers had to step in and pry the cats off. Thankfully, they were able to get them back in the cages and the brother's life was saved. But when Ben found out what happened, he was horrified and ultimately he decided to give the cats away. Damn, that's 10 grand down the drain. But at least Ben only made one weird purchase. He's not like Carmelo Anthony. I mean, this dude has a reputation for buying weird stuff. It all started in 2008, during the Olympics in China. Carmelo and Team USA, they had just won the gold medal for men's basketball. And to celebrate, Carmelo wanted something that would capture the moment forever. So 
our man went out and got a life-size statue of himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mellow? I don't know how to break this to you, dog, but uh, I think your wife is kissing another man. Because that statue looks nothing like you. It, it, that's just weird and creepy. Why would you want this in your house? But uh, Mello's got something even weirder going on down in the basement. See, Mello is someone that spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on shoes. So you'd think he would have a luxurious room for them, right? Well, uh, Mello had different plans. All right, well, this is Mello's sneaker room. This room is a disrespect to sneakers everywhere. How could you keep your shoes in a dungeon just rotting away? Ridiculous. But as weird as his sneaker room is, that's not the weirdest thing Mello owns. In 2011, Carmelo Anthony decided to go out and buy himself a pet camel. Yeah. That actually happened. And when I was doing some research for this video, I learned that camels start at $55,000 and could be worth up to 30 million for one camel. Where the hell is he gonna keep this camel? In the dungeon with the shoes? It's just weird, Carmelo, it's just weird. But hey, he knew exactly what he was getting himself into, all right? Not every NBA player can say the same, like Scottie Pippen. His weird purchase, ended up stealing millions of dollars from him. See, uh, back in 1999, Scotty got the deal of a lifetime with the Rockets, signing a contract worth $82 million. And Scotty felt like such a baller that he wanted to go out and buy the ultimate flex, a private jet. So after making some phone calls, he heard that there was one for sale in Miami and he decided to go check it out for himself. However, what Scotty did next turned out to be a multi-million dollar mistake. A couple of days later, he arrived at the airfield and when he first laid eyes on that jet, he was in love. I mean, Scotty just knew that he had to buy this thing. So he agreed to purchase it on the spot for $4.3 million. Although for some reason, he didn't even try and test the jet out first. He, he just straight up bought it. And when he finally did get in the cockpit and try to fly this thing, guess what happened? It, it didn't even turn on. Yeah, and uh, you know why this thing didn't turn on? Cause he didn't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's right. I got the power to break shit. And I'm not afraid to use it on you too. So what are you doing? But uh, anyways, this dude seriously just bought a non-refundable $4.3 million jet that was broken. And what's even worse is that he needed to drop another million dollars just to repair it. Man, you messed up big time, Scotty. But Scotty didn't mess up as big as Michael Jordan did. Jordan bought a house that's so weird, he'd have to pay people to live in it. Back in 1995, when MJ was worth over a hundred million dollars, he wanted to drop stacks on a dream home. So he went out and copped a two million dollar mansion. And the house started out pretty normal, but it was the renovations that made it weird. Yeah. Over the next few years, Jordan went crazy customizing this house. This dude put the number 23 on everything. Jumpman logos were everywhere. An NBA sized basketball court with his name on it. So by the time Jordan was finished, he had put tens of millions of dollars into this house. All right, great. He's got the perfect dream home for the rest of his life, right? Well, in 2010, when he bought the Charlotte Hornets, he wanted to move closer to the team. So Jordan decided to put his custom mansion on the market. And he was asking for $30 million. 
Uh, who's gonna drop thirty million dollars on a house dedicated to Michael Jordan? What? What? Scottie Pippen? Is he gonna buy it? Well, uh, apparently, not even Scottie wanted the house. Because by 2013, Jordan hadn't got a single offer, and he failed to auction it off. So, he had to find a way to sweeten the deal a little bit. So Jordan decided to offer every single pair of signature Jordan shoes to anyone that would buy his house. And that still wasn't enough. Fast forward to 2019, and the house is valued at just $4 million. Dang him. So Jordan figured the only option he had left was to just hang on to it. And today, it's officially off the market. Now, on the topic of NBA legends, what if I told you that Shaq has an addiction and it's causing him to buy some really weird stuff? See, as a kid in the 70s, baby Shaq started reading DC comic books. And there was one character he loved a little too much. Superman. And fast forward to 1992, when Shaq signed a $17 million contract with the Magic, he thought, what better way to spend all of his money than buying every Superman-themed item he could think of? I'm talking shirts, tattoos, gigantic diamond rings. This man went crazy. But when it comes to his Superman addiction, he was just getting started because he actually filled his entire garage with Superman cars. A Superman Range Rover, a Superman Escalade, a Superman Chevy. Hell, he even bought his own Superman tour bus. And if you were to guess, where do you think Shaq keeps all of these cars? Yeah, in a Superman-themed garage, which just so happens to be located within his $20 million Florida mansion that he completely dedicated to Superman. Just look at what he sleeps in. A 30-foot bed with a Superman logo. All right, Shaq, you got a problem, dog. I, I had a Superman bed too, but I was nine years old, all right? This man literally built a movie theater in his own house to watch Superman movies. And when he's done, he walks over to play basketball in his Superman gym. He's even got a Superman mural in his living room. What's next? You just gonna go out and buy Superman himself? Oh wait, he did do that. This man has officially lost his mind. You need to check this man into rehab immediately. <sighs> but hey, at least Shaq's problem only lost him some money. Some NBA players, they almost lose their lives. Like one player was bleeding out after getting stabbed eight times. And another player was on a train that crashed at 150 miles per hour. Oh, you wanna hear more about that? Then click this video right here. These are NBA players that almost died. And trust me, man, the stories in this one are crazy. So what are you doing? This video's over, click it.